Good morning, good morning, children of the Most High God. You are blessed. You are alive more than you can ever, ever ask for. Trust me, people have millions, millions in the bank, and they cannot even lift their hand like this this morning. So you are blessed. God bless you, God keep you, God protect you, God preserve you because you are seeking him. You are here because you want his perfect will to be done in your life. You, you are seeking his will, you are, you are seeking his presence, you, are, you, are, you, you want what Jesus wants. That's why you are here. That's why we are all here. We've set aside every other thing and we said, Lord Jesus, what have you got on the menu this morning? We want to have breakfast with you. We want to have lunch with you. We want to have dinner with you. We just want to sup with you. That is the perfect and the best place to be. So you are welcome. You are welcome. God loves you. God has great things for you. God has mighty things, wonderful things for you. The earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. And guess what? 
you are those who inherited all. Not, not later in heaven. No, right here. Right here. You are. The, the boundary lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. I have a godly inheritance. God owns it. You inherit it. Don't ever let anyone tell you otherwise. It's your father's house. That means whatever is in the fridge <laughs> belongs to you. And it's not a joke. It's not a joke. It's the real thing. It's not a joke. If we don't understand it, then it will be difficult to even receive. God wants you to receive. And if you don't if you don't see what he sees, if you don't understand his perfect and, and I mean perfect plan for you, you will always just settle for the crumbs. Yes, the crumbs will sustain you because it's from God. But he wants more for you. He wants you to have more. He wants you to have it all. If Jesus is bold enough and has taken the risk because he had to trust you to take that risk and say, you are my co-heir. Wow. He, that's how much God trusts you. He has made you co-heir. So don't, you know, put yourself down. Raise yourself up to his level. But don't be like Lucifer who wanted to go higher. He, Jesus said, I saw him fall down like lightning. That's how quickly God will cast you out. Because then you are pompous. Then, you're, you're, then you don't appreciate what he's doing for you. Uh, and and you, you want to... To just, you know, be, be ungrateful. No, God says enjoy it. Enjoy it and be grateful. Live in it. Just, just, just take it in. It's yours. God doesn't need what you see here. No, he's God. He's so far up above and all he wants is to call us up. Don't, don't let the things here, you can enjoy them, but don't let them get into your mind. Don't let them get into your head. They are just there to serve you. Everything you have is there to serve you. The car you have serves you to take you to work or to shopping or to drop your kids at, in school or, you know, it, it serves you. The car is there to serve you. But when you make that car a God, then you have forsaken the one who gave you the ability to get that car. The house you have is there to serve you. Put a roof over your head so that when it rains, it doesn't rain on you. So God provides for you to take care of you. But don't come and make the things that God gave you now become God's. That's where people go wrong. Okay? So let us just enjoy today. Let us just thank Jesus for the selfless sacrifice. That what everything he did on Calvary, everything he did to set you free, to, to redeem you, to, to you know, get you out of darkness into light, to, to give you the inheritance that your father, your mother, your best friend, your government, nobody could have given you. Jesus Paid for it, cash down complete. That's why the enemy can never come and say, Oh, you left out 2% of the mortgage. No, it's all paid. It's all paid by the blood of Jesus. And he did it willingly. Nobody took his life from him, nobody killed Jesus. He said, I lay down my life and I'll pick it up again. He had to do it because you couldn't do it and I couldn't do it. He did it out of love. 
Okay. So let us uh, settle our minds. I think that table is shaking too much. So shall we pray? Shall we pray? We want everything. No, we don't want people to think why she walked in there. So let us concentrate. We are in the presence of the Lord. We have to be focused. We have to be the best. God wants you to be the best. Don't take anything, you know, less. Don't, don't. You, you have to keep rising. You have to keep rising. You have to keep rising. You haven't yet risen up to heaven. So why have you stopped? Don't stop. Keep rising. You are co-heir with Jesus, seated in heavenly places. So don't stop until you have achieved that. Don't stop. He, he's given it to you. The land of Canaan was given. But the children of Israel had to go and take possession. God gave it to them, but they had to take possession. Okay? Let us pray. Father, we come to you this morning by the power of your Holy Spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we give you the praise. Lord, we give you the honor. We give you all adoration. We worship you. We have not enough words. We can never have enough human vocabulary to express our gratitude. Because it's beyond us. It's beyond imagination. Your love is out of this world. Your blessing is out of this world. That's why we have to know that we can only worship you in spirit. Not in the flesh. And so, Lord, in order to be able to come into your presence this morning, we come by the blood of Jesus. We approach your throne of grace by the power of the Holy Spirit and by the blood of Jesus to receive grace and to receive mercy. Because on our own, Jesus says, no one comes to the Father except through me. So, Lord Jesus, here we are. Soak us in your blood. Wash us in your blood. Let us find grace and mercy in your presence. So that we can come into the presence of the Father. Holy Spirit, we thank you. We thank you for making these mysteries real to us. We thank you for opening our eyes to see ourselves the way you see us. We thank you for taking us out of the fleshy realm and taking us into the spirit realm because you are spirit. Help us to remain there and only visit the flesh. We are not supposed to live in the flesh. We are supposed to live in the spirit and by the spirit. We want to attain this goal. And grow from glory to glory. Lord we commit this service into your perfect hands. And we say take full control. We sanctify the airwaves as we have sanctified ourselves. We consecrate everything and we commit them all unto you. Everyone, everything. We submit our hearts unto you. And we say, Lord, speak to us. Teach us. Lead us. Guide us. Change us from inside out. Make us useful for your kingdom. Make us useful for ourselves. Make us who you want us to be. For your glory, 
and for the benefit of all the saints, all the church, all, the, you know, everyone in this generation. Because wherever we go, we should be a blessing unto others. Thank you, Father, for choosing us to be instruments of blessing. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Welcome, saints. Welcome into the presence of the Lord. It's an awesome, awesome place to be. Get your Bibles, as, as always, you can't do without. Is the ancient words. Get your notepads and something to write with. And a drink is always good. Cheers. So that the voice can be smooth, so that you can relax, so that you don't have to rush around and, and say, oh, I need that, I need that. You get everything ready, and then you settle in. It's lunch time with Jesus. It's breakfast with Jesus. It's brunch with Jesus. It's dinner with Jesus. Anyhow. Wherever you are, whatever the time zone, Jesus is everywhere at the same time with every individual person. So, <clears throat> let's go into the message of today. Let us be excited. Let us open our like spiritual stomach. So that we can be fed. <clears throat> I need another drink. <clears throat> 